welcome back. Well, I am joined via Zoom interview with Dr. Trin, who's going to tell us a little bit about some things that he's doing on education as well as part of his mission work. Well, Dr. Trin, thank you for joining us. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm at home uh, sitting under a blanket as I talk to you. <laughs> sitting under a blanket, <laughs> all nice and cozy. <laughs> I know sometimes I think people are going to get used to this and really kind of like working out of their house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So let's first start off. Uh, obviously, things have changed in your education. You're not meeting like you normally would. So let's uh, tell me about some of the things that you have coming up, and then we'll get to some of the, the mission stuff. Definitely. So I, um, you know, coronavirus hits and I canceled probably over 50 lectures mm -hmm. uh, that was scheduled in March, April, and May. I, I didn't cancel anything from June on. Uh, I may or may not have, depending on how we do, right, with uh -huh. this uh, pandemic. But uh, in lieu of these uh, in-person live lectures, what I've done is I've gone on Facebook and okay. uh, and I'm doing now these health education seminars on Facebook. Uh, obviously, a lot of that talk now is dedicated to updating folks on coronavirus. Right. Uh, so my Facebook talks is every Thursday at 8 in the morning, from 8 to 9, usually about an hour. That's what I do. Okay. And, and all they would have to do is they go into the Facebook page, if they have a Facebook, and they yeah. type in Dr. Trin, and they spell that out, right? And they'll find you right away. Yeah. It's uh, – if they – go on a website they would just type down uh, facebook.com forward slash doctor with the whole word spelled out okay D -O -C -T -O -R, trin t-r-i-n-h okay great it. not the trend now have you been doing them already i have i've okay. been doing them already it's been going on for the last few weeks okay great and so i would assume that you have saved those videos so if somebody wants to catch up they'll be able to go to your facebook page and see them Yes, they are all saved, um, and not only are they saved, I save them on YouTube as well. I have a little okay. YouTube channel, which I'll, I'll send you that later on. Okay, that sounds great. We can go ahead and share that with everybody. Well, good. Well, we've got some great pictures of you um, in the full uh, protective wear. You've got a mask. You've got everything. So why did you do that? Well, I'm in the emergency room every week at uh, Orange Coast uh, Memorial taking okay. care of patients. And so um, that is the, the full, it looks like a hazmat type uh, setup does. to uh, to protect ourselves from right. uh, coronavirus. Um, and, and I'm lucky because Memorial Care currently do have the supplies that we need, mm -hmm. but I have heard of other organizations who are very low in, in mask and gloves and all types of, uh, personal protection equipment for, uh, for doctors and nurses. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so from that angle, we are uh, basically through our, our nonprofit trying to deliver masks to, to those folks. Well, that's great. And you mentioned that you delivered lots over the last, what, two weeks? Yes, about a week, two weeks ago, in conjunction with uh, Alzheimer's Orange County, our, our partner, mm -hmm. um, we've, uh, I think we've delivered about 3,000 masks. Uh, surgical masks to medical groups such as uh, Monarch uh, Medical Group and Greater Newport Medical Group, uh, along with uh, employees of uh, assisted living and uh, nursing homes and, the, and stuff like that. We're what, what if to... someone needs masks? Is there where would you suggest that they go? So there are many mask makers right now actually doing and creating and making sewing masks from home. Right. This DIY, right? Do-it-yourself masks. Do-it-yourself masks, yep. <laughs> and they are coming out in full force. <laughs> They're coming out. As a matter of fact, our Laguna Woods folks are, are making DIY masks. Oh, good. The, the team that was originally making the... Uh, the uh, comfort dolls, these white dolls that I've been taking around the world. Okay. Like, uh, Kiwanis Club, Saddleback Kiwanis Club. They have uh, now started to do masks. Uh, oh, that's great. 
as soon as they are set with a good number of masks, they'll normally contact me. And I will have volunteers pick up masks and deliver masks. Uh, yesterday, we delivered uh, probably about 15 masks to okay. the Laguna Woods areas to seniors who, uh, to those who needed masks today. Okay. Can't. Well, there is potentially, I, there's a directive in some other areas, not necessarily here in Orange County, that people will start to wear masks on a regular basis when they're outside. And so I'm assuming that you're going to be hearing from more people that might need masks. Uh, especially ones that might be sewn and where you could maybe reuse them, wash them, things like that, because some of those other surgical ones aren't necessarily reusable. That's correct. As a matter of fact, I was reading yesterday that the county of Riverside mandated these masks for public use mm -hmm. and that there's a huge fine if you weren't wearing oh. a mask. I think wow. it was... Uh, I think it was like a thousand dollars or something like that. My goodness. Well, we, we could be right behind them. We could be right, but I already have my mask. I should have brought mine over here to show you. I've got some of that made me these cute little custom ones. So I, I wore one on the other day, but you know, I mean, it's, it's certainly a new norm for us, which is really unusual. We've never had to deal with anything like this before, you know, being kind of on the front lines as you are, what are you seeing? I mean, gosh, we hear so many stories about the doctors and the nurses. What are you seeing? It's a, it's a war we're fighting, and it's a war against an unseen enemy, a virus. It's a, it's a global war. Uh, the solution to it is what we're doing now, staying put at home, mm -hmm. uh, social distancing, right. um, you know, washing our hands, wearing a mask when we're out in public. Uh, this because the virus spreads from person to person mm -hmm. the more we kind of self distance ourselves from that person to person contact right. this is how we are going to defeat this i have noticed that um, and and knock on wood right i've noticed that the numbers in orange county and the graph and the chart of growth in orange county mm -hmm. is not as bad as that number for for los angeles right or for New York City, or for Louisiana. Uh, our numbers, uh, not to say that we're doing great, but our numbers were, I, I believe we're kind of bending the curve a little bit in Orange mm -hmm. County. Yeah. And, and I'm proud of that, uh, that we're doing that. But again, knock on wood, right? You never know what, what the Right, well, I know. And New York's been putting out some numbers and they thought that things were, I'm sure it's gonna vary from day to day, of course, but um, as a whole, it seems like things are looking a little brighter. So, I mean, hopefully we will maintain the numbers that you were talking about. But boy, I think everybody here did a really good job. They immediately took, took notice and they stayed home and we didn't go out to parks and we didn't do all the stuff everybody was, still doing in some cases, but the majority of our residents I'm finding out are doing a really good job. So good information. Uh, let's talk a little bit about some other things that you're doing. What, what else is happening out there? Well, just a lot of nonprofit work. I, uh, our organization Tongue Out has been connecting uh, resources uh, to organize such as uh, masks and uh, gowns Okay. Uh, so we've been really busy trying to connect those who are, are bringing the masks and gowns into the states and distributing that to uh, those who need it. Uh, so right. that's kind of been my full-time work. Uh, I've been actually busier with coronavirus yeah. than before. Uh, before I did a lecture, you know, I was done, I relaxed. And now, <laughs> now it's Zoom calls every day. Yeah. Kind of connect resources and, and those who need it. I know, I hear Zoom is really getting popular. We, we're gonna crash the system one of these days. Let's hope we don't. <laughs> well, I'm really proud of all of the work that you're doing. We certainly appreciate it. And uh, we will definitely share with everybody the pictures and sure. your contact information. But other than that, is there anything you wanna tell our community? You know, I miss the community. I miss uh, speaking in the community. I, I miss my patients. I got a few hundred patients who are in Laguna Woods, right. and uh, and as soon as this all ends and, and the virus goes away, I'll be back in the community just saying hi and doing lectures, educating, and uh, but between now and then, I will be on Facebook so the community can reach me there, mm -hmm. and uh, if anyone in the community uh, needs a mask, uh, feel free to, uh, to possibly contact us through my website. Okay. It's tongueout.org. Okay. Tongueout.org. And, and they can send me an email. 
if they are in trouble and they need a mask and uh, I will see what we can do to get them a mask. All right, perfect. Well, thank you again. Stay healthy and uh, keep us informed of what's happening. Will do. Take care, Lisa. All right, thank you. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And we'll be right back after this.